Hey everybody, Will here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick little mod to my DJI Phantom controller. Now, I've mentioned that this is not the best controller, and it's something that I'm hopefully going to be upgrading in the near future to something else, but for now I wanted to use it to at least get a little bit more use out of my um, FPV system that I recently installed onto the Phantom. Now what that means is going to be taking one of my monitors here and figuring out a way to mount it onto the controller so that way basically I can just go around with it and fly and just glance at the monitor and it's there when I need it. Now I've decided the best way to do that is going to be with the help of one of these which is referred to as a magic arm. Now they come with these sort of devices a lot and also you can buy them separately but they've got this big knob here in the middle and on either end they have a pair of or a single quarter inch thread mount and you basically attach it to two devices and articulate it however you want and when you're happy with it you just tighten this big knob in the middle and it holds the two devices firmly in place and basically all we're going to do is install a quarter inch thread mount into the underside of this device and that should be about it. The quarter inch thread on the magic arm is the standard mount you'll find on most video and photography gear, including our monitor. But there's no way the plastic housing on the Phantom controller is going to be able to support such a rig. Which means first, I'll be adding the thread to a small piece of metal, and then mounting the metal to the back side of the controller. For this I grabbed a scrap piece of 1 inch by 0.2 inch stainless steel bar. Standard carbon steel would also work, but aluminum should be avoided as the threads would be easier to strip. Otherwise, the only special tools we'll need will be the quarter inch 20 UNC tap and corresponding drill bit. First, remove the four screws on the back of the controller and pull it apart. I'll be securing the mount to the flat area on the inside of the back of the controller. However, care will need to be taken to ensure it won't hit any of the parts mounted on the front side of the controller. I'll mount the bar so that it passes between the two main control sticks, and I'm otherwise cutting the piece as large as possible to distribute the weight of whatever is mounted across the shell of the controller. To mount the plate to the inside of the controller, I'll use four small screws first drilling holes in each corner of the freshly cut plate for them to pass through. Then I mark and start a hole near the center of the plate before finally drilling and tapping the quarter inch thread with your quarter inch tap set. Be sure to use tapping or cutting oil, and once you get a bite, spin the tap backwards slightly with every clockwise turn to dislodge the shavings and prevent your tap from breaking. Then position the mount in the center of the back of the controller and using the holes in the metal as a guide, drill pilot holes through the plastic cover. Then enlarge the outer holes to accommodate the machine screws, and the center hole on the controller to be a bit larger than the tapped center hole on the plate. We're going to want our machine screws to fit flat on the back of the controller, which means using a countersink to drill out the holes. Drill into the holes slightly before test fitting the screws until they fit flush with the surface. Then install the machine screws and tighten them into place before finally reassembling the two halves of the controller. And with that, the Phantom controller now has a functional quarter inch thread mount.
Despite the fact that my monitor wasn't built to be particularly lightweight, the arms seemed to be supporting it firmly in place. The very last step was to find appropriate places to mount the FPV receiver and battery, before using self-adhesive Velcro to mount them into place. Alright, this is my quick and dirty Phantom controller monitor mod. As you can see, it's on here really good. Everything's just being held on by the Velcro and the arm is doing a great job and it's very stable. I can move it around and control the Phantom and get a great video feed going. Right now I got some video coming in from the GoPro on the Phantom. Um, and I'd say, as you can see, not much to it. It's a really easy, quick way to get a monitor on here. And I've actually used this technique quite a bit on a few other things, including uh, you may recognize these from a number of videos. This is just a basic four foot uh, uh, fluorescent tube fixture that I got from Home Depot for about $10. And on the back here, it's got the exact same sort of thing going on, this little plate that I just cut out and tapped a uh, quarter inch thread in it and then distributed the weight with a couple other screws. Right now it's just got one of these light stand adapters in here which has a quarter inch on one side, a three eighths inch on the other and then it just goes into any light stand. So a really great technique if you're into uh, DIY filmmaking of any sort. Just buy that quarter inch tap and uh, a piece of metal and you can just make a bunch of things adapt to light stands, tripods, anything like that. So otherwise, that is going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching.